So welcome to Wine Time. Everything you need to know to get you ready for Rouge et Blanc. Chemically speaking, the uh, wine's uh, aromatics are digestively flavored and cut loose and then you can smell all of the good stuff that runs up your nose. Personally, I think that just gets in the way of me drinking it, so I'm not a, a big swirler, but wait. I think they may swirl it just to open it up a little bit. It looks cool when you swirl it. I, I know that's, that's one of my tricks to act like I think I know something about wine. And I also smell the cork. You gotta smell the cork, you gotta smell the wine, you gotta do the legs, and you taste a little sip and you're like, how much is that a bottle? <laughs> I think it's yeah. to be fancy. It's the smells. Yeah. I think it's the Yeah, that's why the glass has to be big enough to go down yeah. the nose. Yeah, show us how it's done. <laughs> you really gotta get it in there. <laughs> they swirl the wine to keep the bugs out of it. They make yeah. sure they don't land. Them flies gonna try to land in that glass. You drinking outside by the spillway. I'm just saying, you gotta get off, get off, get yeah. off. Yeah. You, you yeah. fling that. It's just a little fling. You yeah. fling yeah. that, yeah. yeah. You splash a little bit on them and they yeah. fall in. Guess what? You got supper too. <laughs> when I've gone out before I've done it, but I have no idea why you do that. I guess, I guess maybe it releases, I guess it releases maybe the flavor. The purpose of swirling wine in a glass is to release its aroma. Because our sense of smell is linked to our sense of taste, the way a wine smells can give many clues as to how it will taste. Swirling the glass draws oxygen from the air into the wine, a process referred to as opening up. As the wine opens, it gives off its aromas. Therefore, smelling the wine prior to the first sip is part of the overall tasting experience. Enjoy! <laughs>